Next up on the Marvel Dice Throne roster is Thor, Hero of the Nine Realms. And of course, with Thor, you're going to have his hammer, Mjolnir, which you're going to be dishing out damage, throwing it, and bringing it back, and of course, releasing thunderous attacks. At the beginning of the game, he starts with it on his board, but trust me, it won't be there for long, flying back and forth across the battlefield. On a turn, you can throw or retrieve Mjolnir just by discarding any card, and some card effects will have that hammer flying around like crazy. When you throw it, it does one undefendable damage to your opponent, which is impressive in its own right. But if Thor pulls off Lightning Rod, his opponents better hope that they don't have Mjolnir, or they'll get a harsh reminder that they're not worthy. But when his hammer does come back, you gain Electrokinesis. This can be used to give certain abilities like Odin Force or Bottled Lightning a little extra charge for more damage. Or you can always just discard three of them to draw a card. Either way, the God of Thunder and Lightning definitely earns that reputation in Marvel Dice Throne. Thor is right there in the middle of the complexity table, but he brings a lot of power to the table. Thunderbolt and for Asgard pack some of the most damage in the game, and he can use his Guard Break status effect for a chance to make any of his attacks undefendable. Thor brings the lightning and the thunder to Marvel Dice Throne. You do not want to be on the receiving end of that hammer.